Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. I am going to film a video today specifically for my friends who have connected with me from watching my video, meeting my biological father for the first time in my life, and who are also on a similar journey in finding their family members. And so I always get asked, I've done ancestry, now what? What do I do? I didn't get any close matches. That is a question that is emailed to me daily. Um, so how this works is you will, you do the ancestry kit and then you get your DNA results back in whatever amount of time it takes to get it back. Um, it always varies. So I don't want to promise you a time. So you get them back and then it'll give you a list of my matches, my DNA matches, and it'll go from your parents, siblings, first cousins, great aunts and uncles to, um, third to fourth cousins and so forth. And so the closer the relation, obviously the better because that would give you um, higher chances of linking to your biological parents if that's who you're searching for. Um, and so a lot of people ask me, what do I do if I don't have close matches? And that is a great question because I struggled with that. I My closest match was like a third, fourth cousin on Ancestry or no, first and second cousin, but it's very tricky because it is estimated. So it could even be further back and you don't know um, unless they, unless you have more info. It's really hard to explain. But anyway, so what people don't know is that you can actually download your raw DNA from Ancestry and upload it into MyHeritage or GEDmatch.com. And what that means is that whoever has done my heritage instead of ancestry their dna is going to be in their database and not an ancestry so when you upload your dna into my heritage they will then connect you with whomever you share dna with and they could be who you're looking for so say you're looking for your dad and you did ancestry but maybe he did my heritage and so he won't show up on your matches on Ancestry, but if you upload your raw DNA to my heritage, boom, there you go. <laughs> okay, so this is something that I had no idea about and it really helped me a ton because I was able to connect to a first through second cousin. However, he was not a first cousin. He actually was my grandfather's first cousin. So you see how it could be like, back generations and um, it's just estimate. Let's go ahead and get into the instructions on how to do this. All right, let's get started. So you're gonna go to Ancestry, you're gonna click on My DNA Summary, go up to Settings and click on there, then click on Download My Raw DNA, enter your password and confirm, and then it will email you your raw DNA. Once you get that emailed, you'll go to MyHeritage, you will create an account, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you will see sign up for free. And you just sign up there, enter all your information. And once you have that account, you will then go to uh, DNA and upload DNA data. You will follow the instructions to do that. Enter your, that it, make sure that it's yours, check off those, and upload. It should be in your downloads or, yeah, downloads. You confirm that and it'll upload. Then you go to GEDmatch, do the same thing. You can start an account there if you are not registered and enter all your info, click register, and they will then send you an email with your number and you could do one to many matches, which you will click on there when you receive it. You put your number in there, and then it'll come up with your whole DNA match list. You can also take that number and you can do a one to one comparison, and you put your number and the other person's number, and then you click submit. And that will show you whether or not you guys have any relation. So say one of your friends has a GEDmatch account, you can put their number and your number compare and see if you guys are distant cousins. Okay, so there you have it. I hope that helped you guys out a lot. It was definitely something that I did not know myself, 
when I was searching for my father. And so I hope that um, it just encourages you and helps you. Once you do all of that um, uploading, it'll take maybe a week or two, sometimes sooner, to get your results back. And hopefully there is a closer match to you than there was in Ancestry. In my next video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, how to maybe contact family members, what to say, what not to say, um, and just give you some tips and tricks along the way of my search for my dad that helped me a lot. So, um, all right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs>